This video will look at how the Data Hub helps you manage the security certificates that are exchanged when making secure OPC UA connections. We'll use a Data Hub client in Windows 8 to make a secure connection to another Data Hub server in Windows 10. We'll also show you how to make things easier when you're setting up multiple client connections. So here we are in Windows 8 and we're going to configure a secure client connection. First we add a new connection and choose the Windows 10 machine from the list of discovery domains. Then we'll select our endpoint which defines the connection protocol we want to use. In this case I'm going to choose the HTTP protocol. Now let's make an encrypted connection by selecting basic 256 from the security policy drop-down. And we'll choose to authenticate using the certificate that was generated by the data hub during the installation process. So I'll choose my certificate from the user token type. And now we can test our connection. We are prompted to accept the untrusted certificate being sent to us by the server. There are a number of reasons why the server certificate is flagged as untrusted. Most commonly it's because the developer of the server has issued a self-signed certificate. So you'll typically end up always accepting the untrusted server certificates when making client connections. If you do see something that doesn't look right, you can always reject the certificate and go investigate further. I'll accept the server certificate. And now, in the connection test window, we can see a warning that has been returned to us by the UA server. This is the server telling us that the client certificate we passed to it for authentication is also considered as an untrusted certificate. Again, this is most likely because it's a self-signed certificate. So now it's time to go look at the Data Hub server over in Windows 10. Here at the Data Hub server side, we can see there is a rejected certificate waiting for us to resolve. If you're sure you know who's trying to connect, then you can click on Accept All and all rejected certificates will be moved to the Trusted Certificate Store. Another approach is to click on Manage Client Certificates and verify the certificate before accepting it. Here you can see the rejected certificate is the one sent to us by the Data Hub client in Windows 8. So I'll go ahead and I'll accept this certificate. And as we can see here, the certificate is moved to the Trusted Certificate Store. So if we come back to the Data Hub client in Windows 8 and try the connection test again, this time we have connected successfully and we can go ahead and browse the data hierarchy. Uh, we can subscribe to a few points. Now once we've done that we can add a data domain. I'll call this Windows 10 VM. And once we've finished we can click OK and apply and we can see the data updating here. So that's an overview of the certificate handling procedure on both the UA client and UA server side when making connections using the Data Hub. Now we recognize that moving back and forth between the client and server like this may become quite tedious when you're setting up a system that has many client connections. So we have added a useful option for you. If we look back at the Data Hub server machine here on Windows 10 and open up the advanced settings, we have an option called automatically accept untrusted certificates. This tells the Data Hub UA server to accept all untrusted certificates that are received when a client tries to connect. The untrusted certificates are moved into the temporary certificate store. This allows the client to connect without having to come back to the server to accept the certificate. However, certificates in the temporary store are deleted whenever, the, whenever you restart the data hub. So after you've finished configuring all of your clients, you'll want to come back to the server and move the certificates from the temporary store into the trusted certificate store. 
When we select this option, we are warned that this is a potential security risk, which is why we don't want to run like this with this option selected when we're in production. So let's try this and see what happens. Back over here on our Windows 8 client machine, I'm going to use the OPC Foundation Quick Start uh, UA test client to make a second connection. So I'll quickly configure the test client. I'll choose the discovery domain. I'll select the protocol I want. And I'll make sure I have a secure connection and I'll click connect. We will accept the untrusted certificate sent to us by the Data Hub server. And when we do that, we can see we've successfully connected to the Data Hub server without us having to go back over to the server and accept the untrusted certificate. I'll monitor a few of the points in the Data Hub, and you can see here's the data updating here. Now, if we go back over to the Data Hub on the server side, we have two active sessions with two subscriptions. We also have one certificate in the temporary store. Let's take a look at the server status to see what's going on. Here are the two sessions. This is the Data Hub client connection with one subscription. And this is the Quick Start client connection also with one subscription. As you add more client connections, the number of temporary certificates will increase. You can view the temporary certificates here in the Manage Certificates window. Here you can see the Quick Start UA client certificate in the temporary certificate store that was automatically added or automatically accepted by the Data Hub. You can accept the certificate from here or if we close the Manage Certificates window, when you're finished adding all your client connections, you can simply click on Accept All to move all the temporary certificates to the trusted store. Now remember, we should go back and uncheck the option to automatically accept untrusted certificates because this is uh, an insecure way to run the data hub. And now we're back to full certificate security. So in this video, we covered many of the certificate management steps required when making a secure connection using the data hub. We accepted the server certificate when setting up our UA client connection. We accepted the client certificate on the server side that allowed the client to connect. We also configured the Data Hub server to accept all untrusted client connections to make it easier when setting up multiple clients. And finally, we moved certificates from the temporary store to the trusted store when all of our client connections had been configured. And we remembered to uncheck the automatically accept untrusted certificates option, which returned us to full certificate security. So we've tried to make certificate management as simple as possible, but if you still have questions, or you want more information on items not covered in this video, please see our online documentation at www.cogentdatahub.com.